Um, but nonetheless, what's amazing is that he seems to care deeply about um, jury trials and where they originate from. It's just that he doesn't care enough to actually look at the origin of jury trials. But luckily, uh, we have um, super dork Brett Ehrlich looking into it for us. And we got a little <laughs> bit of a history lesson this morning during our production meeting. So let me give you the details on where jury trials come from. Uh, the Lafif in Maliki jurisprudence developed between the 8th and 11th centuries and stipulated that 12 members of the community would swear to tell the truth and reach a unanimous verdict. Sounds sounds like it actually comes from Muslim culture. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't really go along with his uh, narrative there. Let me give you more. In the 12th century, Henry II of England similarly instituted a jury system of 12 free men charged to uncover the facts of the case with the same characteristics as the Lafif system. He was likely influenced by his uh, exchequer, Thomas Brown, who uh, formerly worked under the Dewan of the Kingdom of of Sicily, which had recently conquered the Emirate of Sicily and incorporated Islamic government and legal systems into their procedures. Mm, sometimes wow. the truth Ooh. hurts, Tucker. Sometimes <sighs> it hurts. <laughs> Uh, that was a long way to go and a huge payoff. I'm so glad <laughs> you read that and that Brett brought that up. Wow, um, Islamic law, eh? Hmm. Looks like we owe that our, you know, uh, due process to Islamic law.